New information tonight in the murder of a toddler. Prosecutors in South Jersey say this man killed a two-year-old after getting into a fight with the boy's mother over groceries. The suspect is now behind bars after a court appearance. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Jessica Dean. We are hearing tonight from the family of that toddler. They're just beginning to deal with this loss. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan spoke with them, and he is live in Camden. Cleve. Jessica, typically the arraignment is just a very short court proceeding, but today's was jam-packed with new information about the violence that led to the two-year-old's death. I just love him, and I'll see you one day. Family of two-year-old Jamil Baskerville Jr. were full of raw emotions after learning details how the boy was allegedly punched to death by his mother's boyfriend. You're less of a man to sit there and put your hand on any type of child, no matter what age it is. He was two years old. There should be no reason that you want to hit him. Never turning his eyes to the tearful and enraged audience as he entered the courtroom, 24-year-old Zachary Tricoshi was arraigned on murder charges. Authorities say Tricoshi began punching Jamil, who they referred to as JB, for crying when the man shoved the boy's mother during an argument over groceries. According to JB's mother, the defendant then punched JB in the chest and punched him hard. So hard, in fact, that he went back against the wall and struck the back of his head. Authorities say one punch didn't satisfy Tricoshi. Detectives learned that this defendant told the 29-pound toddler to put his hands up before he hit a motion that he should assume a boxing stance and get ready to fight this grown man. Then he punched him a few times, again, hard enough to kill him. The medical examiner's office said Tricoshi's punches crushed Jamil's liver, causing him to bleed to death internally. How tough has it been in that courtroom seeing him? Very tough for me to not go over that counter. I just think in the state of New Jersey, they need to bring the death penalty back for this incident right here. The death penalty was abolished in New Jersey back in 2007. If convicted, Tricoshi would face life in prison. Today, his bond was set at $1 million. Live in Camden, I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.